Today I've got for you an overview of our brand new BVE CVX UI. The Vault is not new, the UI is brand new. This is a view that I'm getting to from our Vault page that if you are in app.badger.com, it will take you to. So what's going on with this Vault? It is accepting the CVX, which is the Convex Finance Governance Token, and then depositing that Convex into the Vote Locked Convex contract. And that will lock the tokens up for a period of 16 weeks that allows you to vote in convex governance. And once it's done this, Badger every two weeks in the, the convex governance round will automatically look at the bribes that are available for um, convex governance. If, you, if you're not sure about how this system works, check out our many uh, podcasts and office hours on this. But it takes those bribes that are given in exchange for convex votes and sells them and auto compounds them back into 75% more BVE CVX. That's going to be auto compounding in this vault. You don't have to do anything to get that. And 25% Badger, which is uh, Badger's governance token. And that will be claimable in the app here, as well as some uh, CVX CRV that is auto compounding in a separate Badger vault. So let's talk about the fees. There's a 0.1% uh, withdrawal fee, which is needed for security reasons. And the other fees are taken in the form of vote influence. So there is a 5% fee. Now that's not 5% of your assets, that's 5% of the vote weight. We'll go to supporting liquidity for this pool, which we'll talk about in a bit and also uh, 5%, which is voting for Badger WBTC liquidity. So that supports liquidity for Badger, which is a reward token on this vault. And then there's a 5% DAO operations fee that helps us uh, keep the lights on. So if you check out this cool um, chart down here, you can see how the reward mix has changed over time. So you can see that um, over time, the CVX CRV has gone down a little bit while proportionally the CVX and Badger has stayed pretty constant. You can see here where we switched to auto compounding that 75-25 mix. The other really important thing with this pool, um, we talked about the tokens being locked for 16 weeks, but a cool feature is that we allow some early exit liquidity, and that is through this curve pool here. If you go to curve.fi slash factory slash 52, you can see that we have a pool here that contains CVX and BVE CVX. So this will allow you, if you want to withdraw before that 16 week period is over, to swap a certain amount of BVE CVX back to regular CVX. Now you can see 157,000 tokens of liquidity in this pool and 1.8 million CVX in this pool. So there's not enough for everyone if, if everyone would want to withdraw at the same time, but it is a very useful liquidity kind of at the margin for, for smaller holders. So let's go ahead and deposit this and I will show you how it works. So in my wallet, I have some just naked convex governance tokens. So I'm just gonna click deposit. And here is the handy warning that comes up. So we are locking these tokens for periods of 16 weeks. After every 16 weeks, all of the tokens unlock and that withdrawal liquidity is available on a first come first serve basis for a period of one week after which they relock. So at any point, users can swap out through the curve pool with that limited liquidity that we talked about. And there's also unlocked tokens. If new depositors are com coming in, there's a period before those tokens are locked. So there is also some additional liquidity there. But just so you know, if everyone tries to withdraw at the same time, it's not going to be enough and you have to wait for the 16 weeks. So we accept that. I'm just going to whack all my convex in here. And it's a very simple transaction. Just uh, confirm that permission. And now that that's succeeded, the second transaction to deposit the convex. And while this is uh, confirming, let's talk about one other benefit of this. This BBE CVX also counts for Badger Boost. So what that means is it counts as 50% of your balance of Badger towards your, your native assets. So the way Badger Boost works, we have native and non-native assets, native being Badger and Dig, and BBE CVX counts as half native and non-native, which includes the different uh, flavors of, of Bitcoin and other pools that we have in Badger. So if you are holding BV CVX in addition to Badger that will boost the amount of Badger rewards that you're getting for your, your some of your other deposits with us. 
to check how it works with your wallet and see what your boost is, you can head over to this tab here and it will tell you exactly what your native balance is and the boost that you are getting. So now that that transaction has gone through, you'll see that my 120 CVX are registering here. And as the harvests are conducted, the Badger and BCVX CRV rewards will show up here and you just have to, whenever you're ready, claim them through the app and they will show up in your wallet. And one other cool thing I wanted to show you uh, before we go is that we have this uh, Dune Analytics dashboard that one of our colleagues at Badger has created. And this will allow you to see the Badger buybacks as they're happening and let you monitor some of the other transactions that are going on with uh, BBCVX. So you can see exactly how the bribes processor works and the performance and how much Badger it's, uh, it's buying back and all that. If you want to learn more about BBCVX, I encourage you to check out our YouTube channel. Just search for Badger Dow on YouTube, and that has even more uh, deep dive information on how the vault works. But that's all we got for today. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.